Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Had some pretty heavy rains in Hershey by the time that meeting starts, so I think most of it is going to be winding itself down. Severe thunderstorm watch. National Weather Service has issued that from New York all the way down into parts of Maryland. This may stay for a while, but I think a lot of this will start to uh, get called off, if you will. Uh, it's already getting shaved off in some of the counties off to the north. You can see the heavy line. It's moving quickly to the south at about 40, 50 miles an hour. So I do think another hour and a half, two hours, it's going to start sliding out of here. Heavy right along the Mason Dixon line, led up in York County, but heaviest concentration in parts of Lebanon, Berks, and into uh, Lancaster counties. That warning has now been shaved back for just parts of Berks and in the Lancaster County until 5.30 this evening. Had some pretty heavy storms go through Lebanon. Still getting some pretty heavy rains in there. Had some flooding in uh, Lebanon City. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about a half inch to an inch of rain in just a, a short amount of time. See, the heavier stuff has now moved south of Shillington, but uh, really a pretty good chunk of moderate to heavy rain. Now east of 222, we came on the air, it was west of 222, now heading in the eastern parts of Lancaster County. Not a lot of precipitation, certainly. We had some reports earlier of some hail, but uh, I, that is now starting to wane. I think uh, we're not seeing much of that. Look at that, it's really cooled things down. Temperatures were in the 80s, now 60s and low 70s out there. It is really cool. Cool it down. Temperatures will bump up a little bit. You can see our Lancaster sky cam at this hour. Cloudy and it's raining a little bit, but the heavy stuff is again moving east of Lancaster City. Head to Mount Joy for some scattered showers and storms ending over the next couple of hours. Temperatures falling out of the 70s into the 60s and then bottoming out in the mid 60s overnight tonight. I still can't rule out a, a stray shower tonight and kind of sticky, but most of the time it, it won't be raining. Tomorrow, not as much rain nor as heavy, but there could still be some scattered showers, particularly in the afternoon. It won't be as warm as today and probably a little less humid, probably mid to upper 70s for tomorrow. Weathering your health, pollen count remains on the high side. UV about a four, 45 minutes for burn time for tomorrow. So, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, each day we have a shower in. In fact, a much cooler day on Thursday. Could just be some light rain or drizzle around with the wind coming off the ocean. An isolated shower with a weak front coming through on Friday. But look at this. We'll do it again. Another nice weekend coming our way. Sunshine, comfortable, 70s to near that 80 degree mark. Kids art for this evening. Allie from Park Hills Elementary School. I think that's a bicycle that Allie's riding in there. And Stephen. Baldwizer from a senior from York. You are the Weather Watcher Umbrella winner. Congratulations from WGAL and the Whitaker Center.